morning guys it is tuesday january 29th okay today the moon is in sagittarius we have a psychic groundwater sign that involving the moon in scorpio at the 29th degree and chiron in pisces at the 29th degree and the north node in cancer at 26 degrees so whatever you're manifesting today is going to be a permanent thing it's a lasting impression okay you're definitely achieving something today and the 29th degree is about uh, mastery so for Chiron and Pisces it's about chronic mastery and with the moon in Scorpio although the moon transits pretty much one degree every day this is a uh, mastery of clarity um, whatever you've been thinking about for the last couple days and you know speaking of clarity the sun is conjunct mercury in aquarius today at nine degrees so that's also thinking about something um there's a purge going on an ending uh changing a way of being okay and then on top of that we've got uh Mars and Aries uh, sextiling Black Moon Lilith and Aquarius. So a lot of Aquarius energy, um, like being detached, being distant, um, kind of like a disconnection, but it's because you're in your mind. Not that you're locked in your mind, but there's a lot of thinking going on. Okay, so the Mars sextiling Black Moon Lilith, that's about... Um, there could be some issues with uh, controlling your temper. Um, some of you guys, like according to the horoscope, this is going to be a day when you've had enough. But it, it's not necessarily true for everyone. You know? As with the tarot readings, this is general. This is the energy that's prevalent. Now, so if somebody is doing their work and um, owning their behaviors and stuff like that, you they're ascending and you're not going to see the things that I speak of whereas if there is an issue then it's going to come up for adjustment okay so the psychic groundwater trine um I didn't finish talking about that that the reason why it's a psychic groundwater trine is because it involves the, involves the moon and Chiron okay and it's involving the north node in cancer so it is about your destiny about being open to receiving you're supposed to trust your instincts and your intuition above all else okay um so this is a really uh, this is a time when you're really in tune with the universe okay so completely trust your instincts and your intuition i love it when they have the psychic groundwater trying now it's it's only a psychic groundwater trying if it involves the moon and or uh any of the outer planets and Chiron. So we have the moon and Chiron, which makes it uh, super psychic. <laughs> and then of course the North Node in Cancer. So these these water signs are already uh, psychic to begin with. So you're going to, uh, what do you call it? Experience some clarity. Oh my goodness, they are just jumping out today, aren't they? This is on here. This is on here. Okay, we'll probably take about two more cards. We'll try and see how short I can keep this reading today. Ha 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 ha. I have to open in about 15 minutes, so. <laughs> Gotta open when you're supposed to, right? Okay. And this is this way, so this would be reversed. Cool. All right. So first card, always the strongest, Queen of Cups. This is empathy, okay? This is compassion. This is, uh, you are love, okay? You come from a place of compassion. You come from a place of gratitude. You understand people and you're emotionally sensitive. You're in tune. You could, you could be an empath, you could be a sensitive, or you could just, um, not only is it empathy, it's also sympathy, okay? It's very understanding energy, loving person. And then we have, oh, wow, six of cups, okay? So sometimes this can be a soulmate. Uh, six is about something from the past. It is something that you love coming back from the past. can be a soulmate, okay? Because it can be a person, a place, or a thing, okay? And it could be... 
maybe, maybe like over here, the places uh, that were overrun by lava, like the beaches and all that, they're, they've opened up and all that. So maybe, you know, it could be something coming back that you love. I mean, it could be, it could be your shoes, your tennis shoes that you wore in high school, um, reissuing their <laughs> shoes again, the same edition. This could be anything. This could be a dog. Um, this could be somebody visiting you. This could be finding something that you lost a long time ago, your favorite sweater, you know, um, whatever it is, it, it's like a gift of joy, okay? Something coming back from the past that you love. It's going to make you very happy. Now, we have the Knight of Swords that fell out on top of it. Knight of Swords is about fighting for an idea. So maybe some of you guys have are single and you want to believe that there's a soulmate out there for you. All you have to do is be love, okay? When you vibrate at a particular at a particular frequency, you attract other things on that same frequency. So if you are love, you will attract love. So some of you guys that are out there being single, independent and taking care of yourself, you are finding or you could find, or you already have find, uh, found, or you're about to find somebody that truly resonates with you, <laughs> your equal, uh, a soulmate that you've encountered either previously in this life or in a past life. Okay, trust your intuition. There could be some kind of communication, and it's. Um, I want to say short, but it's not short. It's more like distant. It could be puzzling. You know, you're so loving and so warm, and then there's this cold communication. Someone's coming back. Or maybe you're telling somebody that you've met your soulmate, or you're telling somebody that my ex-boyfriend came back. You, <laughs> It's possible that you're not very happy about that. <laughs> um, and I think we do. We have been getting that for a little bit where exes are coming back, trying to get back into your life. Or you're going to get commun uh, communication from an ex saying, hey, I need to talk to you. Or something that's not, it's not warm communication. It's not happy communication. It's more or less out of necessity because they have to tell you something or they feel they have to tell you something or they need information from you this could be like you filed those divorce papers yet <laughs> um, this could be someone uh, you reaching out to an ex and they're like what do you want or you come across them and you're like what do you want <laughs> This could also be your current soulmate is stuck on a particular pattern, some kind of, um, I want to say obsession, but it's a pattern of thinking that creates habitual actions. So there's like this thought reaction pattern that needs to be changed and they're kind of stuck on it or they're having trouble with it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably what it is because we've got the Ace of Swords reverse. This is about recognition, truth and clarity and communication, new beginnings, new knowledge, initiating a new belief, but it's, it's also triumph. This is reversed, okay? So somebody's definitely having a hard time with uh, some kind of idea or belief or pattern. Okay, where was I? Sorry. <laughs> um, they're not recognizing or they're not acknowledging what's going on. Um, it's a stubborn pattern of thinking that creates a kind of aggressive or... Um, an unstable expression of energy because they don't 
know exactly what it is. They haven't identified it and owned it, okay? They haven't con quite connected the dots yet. They could be fooling themselves. Um, this is usually illusion, delusion. It's uh, deception. This is uh, lacking clarity in something. It is reversed, so there is something going on here. They're recognizing something, but it's like they haven't connected the dots. And they're pro what they're probably doing is they're probably watching TV. They're probably watching TV and seeing all this stuff all over the news about people being checked for their behavior, for their attitudes, and for their actions. And, you know, there's all these people and we're, we're, we're looking at them going, what the hell? Why the hell? Would you do something like that? And, you know, then you see them being apologetic. I didn't mean to do that. Or or just trying to, um, I, you know, I never touched that young woman kind of deal. Um, so they know something's not right. The that This is the smoke starting to clear, but not being able to see clearly yet or not recognizing what's being revealed yet. And it's about how they hold on to this tension. This is like nervous tension. This is being bitchy, <laughs> acting out but not knowing why. Okay, so where was this was here? Sorry, I have to rearrange the cards now. I did those, I did those, and then this was on top of here. Okay, the moon. The moon is about healing. It's about dreams. It's about psychic visions. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, lucid dreaming, okay? So you could be having visits. You could be having weird dreams. Or you could be having unusual dreams that are catching your attention, okay? And for you, what this is, is healing, and it's an expression of energy. And for you, this is how you are uh, purging things. Uh, as you know, when you sleep, th there's this thing called um, EMDR, and what it is, is it's trauma therapy, because scientists have found when you go to sleep and you close your eyes, the REM movements of the rapid eye movements uh, in, that, in that level of unconsciousness while you're sleeping promotes integration of emotions. Literally, it helps you heal while you sleep. It helps you process emotions easier. So they found while you're awake, if they mimic the REM movements in a particular uh, motion or uh, there's a there's a certain process there's questions that need to be asked and then you know they move the fingers back and forth in a series uh, for a certain number of time and they do it for a certain number of sets and what it does is alleviate it alleviates trauma emotions I know Okay, I've, I've been uh, lucky enough to witness it. I was shown the process and I actually learned it and started using it on myself rather than see a psych, you know. Uh, uh, Scorpios, we like to, we, we are natural psychologists. So <laughs> once we learn a tool, we grab onto that. So I'm just sharing that with you guys that if you need uh, some kind of therapy or if you do a little bit of reading about it you can learn a little bit more about it and how it can help you okay but for the rest of us we're processing we're doing that in our sleep okay the moon is is also about something deep in the subconscious that needs to come up so they're not understanding why they act like they do because they haven't quite put it together yet the emotions connected to that and it, they haven't identified exactly what it is so this has still yet to be expressed they know something's up but they can't quite pinpoint it they might be having dreams of destruction also 
I, I just, um, I normally don't pay attention to th this, but the two towers are standing out. It's like they're seeing what could happen if they don't shape up. Or they're seeing like both possibilities, okay? If things go bad, that's what they're seeing. If things go good and, and there's enlightenment, it's like they're seeing the opposites, the two possible ways that this can go, or they're seeing multiple ways this can go, or they're seeing an alternate way of how things can go. They could be, you know, waking up having nightmares going, I, I dreamed you left me. Or they could just tell you I'm dreaming about you because, you know, we also have the King of Cups here. Um, the King of Cups is consideration. This is somebody who controls their emotions and keeps it in check. Yet you can feel the energy, the electric. Um, it's like lava under a volcano. This is... Uh, a very intense burning sexual energy okay and it's intense emotions it's uh, kept in check okay they don't I want to say stoic but stoic is almost cold and and like non feeling like heart of ice this is not heart of ice this is like heart of fire contained <laughs> pretty much okay so somebody is controlling their emotions and maybe them controlling it is the reason that it's expressing itself through the dreams through the dream state the sleeping state okay so on top of the moon card over here They're dreaming about their soulmate, too. Or they're dreaming about their ex. Yeah, exes are going to come up um, around this time. A lot of them are trying to come back. A lot of them are trying to be in communication. Or a lot of them are rethinking, hey, are you still, you know, single? Or, hey, I'd like to get back together with you. And the answer is, no, I don't think so. And this, uh, the moon, the healing. So this is uh, healing of baggage pertaining to that particular relationship. So this is like a major conflict being resolved also. Okay, so yeah, this is like, this is like, Hey, I'm back. Um, I'm still interested in you. Um, are you single or can we get back together again? Or I want to see you and what do you want? Why are you even calling me? Um, I'm really not interested in you. I've already closed that door. I've already purged you. I'm healed from the disappointment in that relationship. I already have somebody I love. I'm in love already. Okay, so they're in love with you, okay? You guys are the king and queen of cups. And you guys both give each other the, pa uh, the page of cups. Oh, this is actually a charm. Yeah, yeah, they really love you, okay? They, it's like looking at the relationship afresh. After getting rid of this baggage, they're looking at you differently, realizing that you guys have real, true love okay the page i'm sorry i thought this was the prince for a second but um i did not say it was prince charming it, it it is an offer of love yes but the page is like being naive it's childlike innocence it's looking at relationships from a fresh perspective um looking at things as if they were brand new this is like the honeymoon stage okay so you guys have got it you guys have got um a strong connection, a karmic connection. This person was their soulmate, but you are their perfect match. And they know this. Okay, somebody's he somebody here is working the law of attraction because we got a voicing of intention. This is waiting for your ship to come in. So somebody's been working on manifesting something. Okay, I don't know if it's a behavior change or... What it looks like is they're manifesting the... Oh, wow. 
manifesting the love of their life. Nice. Okay. So these are the last cards I'm going to pull because I got to open. <laughs> it's already after nine. Okay. So somebody has voiced their intentions. They've uh, put the energy out there to uh, manifest something. Maybe what they meant, wanted to manifest was closure. Okay. They wanted that opportunity to close that out with somebody and tell them that you've already found somebody that, that you're in love with now. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So, see, <laughs> I was not lying. We will be, we will be together. This is, you know, we go together, <laughs> for, you know, Greece from Ramalama, -lama -lama, ding a ding a dong. Um, <laughs> son of a gun. Yeah, you guys are destiny. You're a faded pair. Even though this person was a soulmate, that person was a karmic lesson. That door has now been closed. The disappointments have been quashed. Um, they're looking forward to a life with you. Wow, that's just beautiful energy. Um, it's always new with you. This love will always be fresh because it's real okay and you guys are committed to each other that's beautiful this is marriage and commitment this is the 11 11 the manifestation portal so it looks like you guys are starting to vibrate along the same lines um not 100 percent match but you guys are a vibrational match on the love lines there's still some work that needs to be done in terms of one partner okay because they've got a, st a stubborn inner conflict that's pretty big but don't worry about it because when the time is right it will happen the truth will come out okay maybe they need to admit to you that somebody tried to contact them and they turn them down because they love you or maybe they just need to um admit admit the truth that they don't understand Okay, because, you know, you you are love. You're there full of love. You fill them with love. And maybe with the love and understanding and, you know, coming from a fresh perspective, looking at things differently, you guys can figure out how to work things out. Okay, because that's what uh, real love is about. It's about working together. Okay, this is also the number two. Teamwork harmony, companionship, working together to overcome anything. These are really beautiful cards, guys. Okay. I, oh, no, I said I was done already. I'm going to pull a... My goodness. My cards are all mangled. I'm going to pull one from the Hawaiian Healing Intentions deck. Okay. Well, there it is. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Remember I said somebody's manifesting something. They've got the manifestation portal. Um, did I mention the Psychic Grand Water Trine? <laughs> Strong powers. Okay, so careful what you guys wish for. Vi Vi, fortune, value, and wealth. Okay, well, wish for fortune, value, and wealth. <laughs> Abundance, a two and a four. Okay. Um, harmony, teamwork, and manifesting. I almost wanted to say that with, you know, you guys, this is the Wonder Twin powers uh, combined form of <laughs> this is you guys both harnessing your energy and manifesting together okay working together doubling up on the energy towards manifestations that's what's happening here is you guys are meeting up this is um technically this is working together okay so that's what's going on is working together to manifest abundance my intention is to cultivate appreciation for all that I have and to shift my focus from suffering and lack to gratitude and, and the, uh, for the abundance that is within me and around me. Right. Always come from a place of gratitude. True abundance is a state of mind, a perspective. When you choose to find, when you choose to find appreciation for all that you have and for all that you are, you cultivate an inner environment that allows for you to attract abundance. Didn't I say that about vibrating at a certain frequency and you attract it to you? In this case, I was saying soulmate, but you know, this is love also. This person that's with you is your soulmate also, but you guys are the fated pair, okay? Because there's a lot of people that teach us lessons and then there's the ones that are supposed to stay. 
that which you focus on expands. So by shifting your focus towards gratitude for yourself and all that surrounds you, abundance follows. Okay, and I tell you guys about it's what energy you put off, right? When we vibrate high, we it's an internal thing. We vibrate and we try to maintain that frequency. It vibrates out and forms this bubble around us, okay? And then pretty soon... It's like you change the, the whole world. You change your whole world from the inside vibra by vibrating at a certain frequency. That's what this is telling you. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Love you. Take care.